Here on Earth, we depend on light and energy from the sun to survive. But that same star that warms our tiny planet will also be the end of us, and the entire solar system. Scientifically speaking, our sun is classified as a yellow dwarf star, which is kind of funny considering it's not yellow or small, but whatever. Our star is far from one of a kind. There are several hundred billion suns just in our own Milky Way galaxy alone. And there are hundreds of billions of galaxies in the known universe. One thing's for sure, our star isn't massive enough to go supernova, a cataclysmic explosion at the end of a star's life. It's also not massive enough to form a black hole, a region of space under such immense gravity that nothing can escape, even light. So instead, stars like the sun have their own stellar destiny. All stars, including our sun, run on nuclear energy created by smashing hydrogen atoms together to form heavier helium atoms, a process called nuclear fusion that can only take place in the core of stars where temperatures and pressure are unimaginable. And energy from this nuclear fuel pours outward from the sun's core, perfectly balancing the strong gravity constantly trying to crush the star. This is how stars operate. But eventually, the sun's supply of hydrogen will run out, allowing its core to shrink and become even more hot and dense. At this point, with no more hydrogen to fuse, the sun will begin fusing helium atoms together, forming even heavier atoms like carbon and oxygen. This will cause the sun to expand outward to hundreds of times its current size, becoming a red giant. This expansion will also be enough to completely incinerate Mercury and Venus, as for Earth, scientists are currently unsure whether it too will be fried or simply pushed out of the sun's orbit to aimlessly wander space alone. Either way, one thing's for sure, Earth will have become a planet completely unsuitable for life as we know it. Even the icy giants of the outer solar system will begin to thaw from our expanding sun. Mighty stellar winds will carry gases outward from the sun, producing a stunning nebula. This colorful cloud of burning gas will be visible for thousands of years to surrounding solar systems as a tribute to our former cosmic home. Eventually, our sun will cool and shrink into a white dwarf, only emitting the heat left over from its previous fusion of atoms. And after billions of years have passed, our once mighty star will have dwindled down to a black dwarf, the dark corpse of a star. Thankfully, at a young five billion years old, our sun is only around halfway through its long life, and you've still got billions of years to enjoy its loving warmth 